In this video we're going to look at identifying resistors by their colour code, which is a very important skill. So we use the coloured bands, here's the first coloured band, and we should know that the brown coloured band is worth 1. This colour is orange, which is worth 3, and this colour is worth brown again, which is also worth 1. But we don't write the 1 there. No, we don't. We rub that out, and that third band means 1, 0 one lot of zeros. So this is actually 130 ohms. So what does the last band that we've not used represent? Well this band here, which is the last one, is silver. And silver means plus or minus 10%. So the fourth band is the tolerance, plus or minus 10%, like that. And as you can see, I'm using these color codes without looking them up. It's very useful to know them. So orange here is worth three blue is worth 6, brown is worth 1, but we don't write 1, we write 1, 0, and gold is plus or minus 5%, so therefore we get a value of 360 ohms plus or minus 5%. And the reason you should learn your resistor colour codes is because when you're picking a resistor out of a tray or out of a box, you need to be able to look at it and know that it's the right value. Here's another example. The blue is worth 6, the red is worth 2, the orange is worth 3, but we don't write 3 because it's the third band. What we do is we rub that out and we write three lots of zero. So one, two, three zeros. So therefore my resistor is 62,000, but we know that 1,000 is written as K. So it's 62 kilo ohms plus or minus, and in this case, the last band is gold, so gold is 5%, so it's plus or minus 5%. In the example down at the bottom, the red is worth 2, the black is worth 0, and the red is also worth 2, but we don't write 2, we write two more zeros. So now we've got zeros being represented in different ways. This second digit is actually a zero. This third digit is not a 2, it's two more zeros. So in total we've got three zeros, which is 2,000 ohms, which as we should know is 2 kilo ohms. And my last colour is silver, so it's plus or minus 10%. Okay, so it's very useful to be able to recognise resistors when you're building circuits without having to look things up. This next example is brown, which is worth 1, blue, which is worth 6, and black, which is worth 0. This is the most common mistake, writing a 0 for a black. But we don't write the number down for the third band. What we do is we write 0 zeros, nothing, yada, nothing goes there. So we take the silver, and this is plus or minus 10%, and that gives us the value it's 16 ohms, because in this position here, there's no multiplier by 10. There's nothing there. 16 ohms plus or minus 10%. Black means write no zeros. Try it again. Brown is worth 1. Gray is worth 8. Write no zeros at all. Gold is worth plus or minus 5%. So brown, gray, black is worth 18 ohms plus or minus five percent okay right so onto our last example this is a nice small resistor here so the violet is worth seven the green is worth five and now we've got two golds so it matters what position we're in the third gold is the number of tens but it doesn't represent a number of tens it represents divide by ten and the fourth gold is plus or minus five percent so we take our value, 75, divide it by 10, so we get 7.5 ohms plus or minus 5%. So it's not just the colour of the band that matters, it's the position of the band on the resistor as well. Our final example, yellow is worth 4, violet is worth 7, gold is worth divide by 10. My divide sign failed. Try again. Divide by 10 and the silver is plus or minus 
So we take our value, 47. 47 divided by 10 is 4.7 ohms plus or minus 10%. And there we go, how to read resistor color codes. So now we come to recording resistor values that don't use the color code. And the K, which is shown here, has two jobs. The first thing is that the K in this position represents a multiplying factor of 1,000. And the second job of the K is that it represents the decimal place being at that position. So our value is 6 and then 8 with the decimal place between the two of them. And it's multiplied by 1,000 and that's the value in ohms. So that comes out to be 6,800 ohms and then plus or minus the tolerance, and in this case the J is the tolerance because it's last, and J represents 5%. So if I were to do the second example, 150 ohms plus or minus 10%, so that comes out to be 150, I have no option but to write that because it's not a factor of a thousand or a million. So I use R to represent my ohms, and the tolerance is K, because when the tolerance is the second letter, the K is used to represent 10%, and the R is used to represent the ohm symbol. So 150 ohms plus or minus 10% is quite simply written as 150 R K. Moving on to the next ones, which is using the letter code. This is very straightforward as well. So our value is 502. So it represents 5, the first digit, 0, the second digit, and two more zeros, the third digit, and there is no tolerance. So this value is simply 5,000 ohms. So if I take this example here, 47k, how can that be written? Well, I need a 4, I need a 7, and the k represents a factor of 1,000, so I need three more zeros, so it's written as 473.